Hello, my name is Gerd Wessling. I'm from Germany and I represent the global transition movement here. Transition is very much about many things, but two things in particular is working with what is and working on different levels. So I thought I'd do a little experiment with you. What is are many constraints. We have five minutes for the presentation. We are supposed to speak very slowly for the translation, yet I have 31 slides I want to show you <laughs> with a lot of information. So I thought if I manage to find the right mixture of slow speech and speed sliding, I put you in a transition trance, <laughs> which afterwards will enable you to intuitively find all the answers to the many questions which already were asked regarding the comments. And then once you've got them, we can all share them in the next two days. <laughs> so. <laughs> yes. So something is uh, not working, is it? It is working. Um, and right at the beginning, I also want to see where I see the connection between the commons and the transition movement. Transition is a global grassroots movement, very much from, I would say, the middle of the Western society, that where it stems from. And uh, in a way, if we do it right, we secretly sneak in common thinking into the minds of many, many people in a very tangible and a way which you really can experience. So we manage, hopefully, to bring it from here and here down to earth and to make it tangible and practical for many, many people. The motivation for the transition movement was peak oil, climate change, and economic contraction. And the realization that business as usual would not be possible anymore. The founder of the transition movement was Rob Hopkins, or is Rob Hopkins, and a few of his friends. He has been a permaculture teacher before. And in permaculture, you very much think in systems, and you think, again, to work with what you have and to make like circles, to have no waste, to really use what you have, make sure you, you have no waste. He tried to find a way where you can apply this kind of thinking to the local level. So the transition movement is a global movement thinking about what you can do on your, in your locality, on the ground, in your little city, town, wherever you are. But at the same time, it tries to make sure that your mind doesn't become too local either, and like this, but it wants to keep your mind like this also, so it always makes sure that you are acting locally but thinking in a global, connected way. That's very, very important uh, to know that. So peak oil, I don't go into the uh, details. Climate change, I also don't go into details. Peak oil and climate change, I do go into one detail that the a proposed solution for peak oil, for example, is very bad for climate change. So you have to always look at both to find proper solutions. Um, also, what the transition movement realizes is if we only do things on the ground locally, it doesn't really help the world alone. At the same time, uh, globally, nationally, and personally, things and changes and realizations also have to happen. Uh, da -da -da -da. The assumptions of the transition town movement are that the current industrial growth system is not sustainable and that government and businesses will not solve it, but it's down to us also on the local level to help find solutions. It also says that it's an experiment. It has a cheerful disclaimer, says we don't really know what we do, but we think we do something useful. From the A to Z of transition, we are at B. And please don't expect too much from us in terms of answers. And that is what actually, in my experience, attracts many, many people to the transition town movements, that for the first time, it's not someone telling you, if you only do this, you have all the answers, and the world will be a better place. You will be a better person. Everything is fine. The world's not like that. We all know that. It's much more complex. And so the transition movement realizes that but it enables people to work from where they are with their capabilities without having to change completely and uh, help making this change happen. 
And so, um, what I would like to see then, i listen to your uh, talk uh, from Ecuador. So, really, you should become the transition minister of Ecuador and then the globe. That was fantastic what you said. So, I, have, I didn't know about what happened in Ecuador before I listened to you. This is very much what, uh, along this sun. So I could say many more things. It's just global. In Germany, we are growing. We have our first conference, 19 to 20, uh, 21st of November, uh, this year in Hanover. And here, the final thing, that's Mr. Rob Hopkins, the third one from the left, uh, the founder. Very nice man. And that's it. So come join Transition. Let's change the world. Yeah.